Hey, happy Monday to you. Monday, January 4th, 2021. As we begin this new year, we are using our FUMC CV prayer calendar to walk us through these pastor's devotions. Uh, the prayer calendar provides us with a scripture every day, and it invites us to write, not just read the scripture, but to write it down. And so what we're going to do here on video is read it a couple times through. I'm going to share some of the background, some thoughts, help with maybe some application to our lives. Um, and then um, I encourage you to take a moment when the video is over to write down the scripture in uh, your journal. Um, I, uh, you, if you need a copy of this prayer calendar, you can get one in the church office if you're local. Every morning on Facebook, we on our church's Facebook page, we release the scripture of the day. Um, you can get it online, fumccv.org, through the Pathway Archives, or you can get it in the printed Pathway if you're on that mailing list. So, Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 is where we're going to begin today. Matthew chapter 6, verse 31. Of course, Matthew is the first of the four Gospels, which means it's the first, um, the, uh, first book in the New Testament. So find Matthew chapter 6, verse 31. I'll give you a moment to do so. All right, Matthew 6, 31. Therefore, do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. Let me read that one more time. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. Now, there is a lot in that passage. Um, and the this prayer calendar gives us a, a number of scriptures. So there's going to be 31 different scriptures like this that talk about, you know, beginning new or giving us new perspectives for this year. And this one being trouble. Today's trouble is enough for today. Well, 2020 trouble is enough for 2020. Let's just move on into 2021. It's been a difficult year to really not worry. I mean, that this, this is what the pastor said. Don't worry. Trust in God. Um, now, that's very easy to say. That's very difficult to do. It has been very difficult to do this year as we've had this global pandemic um, and... Uh, food insecurity uh, and loss of job and just going out like I got to go to the bank I got to go to the grocery store and and we have to take all these precautions and how do you not worry amidst all of that think about other issues in our in our world in this last year so there's great racial unrest and we heard many many sort of stories and testimonies as you were listening about uh, people of color and the kind of precautions that they have to take in life that I would never have to consider taking or the kinds of precautions that they have to teach their children to take in life that I would never have to teach my my children. For example, my children, you know, I, I uh, my son's driving now. So I've talked with him about you get pulled over by a police officer. You want to, you know, get the, you know, get your wallet out. And so you're sort of reaching into your pocket and, and get uh, the uh, car insurance out, which means you're going to be reaching into the glove box. And as a, as an Anglo kid, that it, there, there's no fear about that for him. Um, but I talked to some of my African-American friends and they would inform their kids, you get pulled over by a cop, you keep your hands on the steering wheel and you do not move your hands anywhere 
because of the possibility that violence could follow because of the suspicion of what you might be reaching for. I mean, just fear. How do we keep it from... How do we keep it from dominating our lives? Well, this passage sort of gives it a, a really simplistic, like, just don't worry, God will take care of all of it. Um, and th that's a strategy. I would encourage another strategy, and, and that would be discovering ways it, as opposed to just saying, okay, I'm going to take fear out and now there's a void that God's going to fill. Discover a way, for example, to um, open your life more to the things of God so that it would fill that void and there might be things there that then would push fear out. What do I mean? Well, for example, the fruits of the Spirit. What are the, the fruits of the Spirit? How can you fill your life with uh, certain things? So let me read the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. What if your life was filled with those things? Um, and, and by being filled so much with those things, it leaves less room for fear to dominate or less room for worry to dominate or less room for anxiety to dominate or less room for a, a sort of idea, a a self-image of depravity, what, what you don't have to dominate, that, that you're full of these things of God. And so these other things that detract from God have less room to take hold in your life. Okay, that, for me, the times in which I have been able to sort of lower the anxiety or the fear or the worry quotient in my life. It's not because I just woke up one day. And it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about those things anymore. It's because I had filled my life um, with sufficient other things that didn't give room for that negative to take hold. Now, I'm so thankful that the prayer ministry has uh, placed this, this scripture with us at the beginning of the year. Because though I say the times in my life when I have been able to do that, it's not enough and it's not often enough. And I need this reminder again and again and again to really consider what I fill my life with. You know, the passage says, strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Fill your life with those things, the kingdom of the things of the kingdom of God, righteousness, those fruits of the spirit, those other things of God. Once we do that, then the worry, in many cases, will take care of itself. Such a helpful lesson for us at the beginning of this new year. Uh, I'm glad that you joined us for this devotional. So I'm going to sign off. You're going to take, and, and together, uh, me as well, take a moment to uh, write this scripture down. God bless. Have a great day.